Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from KibbyKing77.com here with another video talking about a material design update to the Google Maps application. Google has now released the official APK. I will post a download link in the description if you'd like to update your Google Maps app to this one. Uh, anyways, you'll see right here, updated icon, nice material design. I prefer it over the previous one, so I think it looks pretty good. Anyways, let's go ahead and tap on it and get going. So you'll see I have Chicago loaded up right here, uh, which I'm pretty familiar with. And you'll notice some different things right here in the icons right here. Uh, you'll see that there's a GPS icon that'll take you to where you're at. And also a directions uh, button where if you tap it, it's going to say your location to recent history, home, all of that good stuff. So I'm going to back out of that. Now, continuing on, wherever your map is located or showing, it's going to bring up, it's, this says around Chicago, because that's where it is showing up. So, around Chicago, it's going to let you know the weather, it's going to give you information um, about what time you'll see. Uh, so, you'll see lunch break, it knows that it's around noon, so hey, if you want to go to lunch, here's places around Chicago, here's the weather. Uh, traveler favorites as well, local favorites, fast food. Um, a bunch of them. Chipotle is there. Heck yeah. <laughs> Sandwiches, restaurants, Mexican. So you'll see a bunch of the parks as well. So it'll give you places to not just eat but go visit museums. Um, featured by Zagat and then play and see popular attractions. So there's a lot of around Chicago information. Um, and you can change the time. I didn't let you know that. So if you want to say evening, maybe it's going to show up bars or um, maybe dinner restaurants, etc. Alright, so you'll see in the evening it'll bring up uh, work or play, happy hour, um, all that good stuff. So depending on when you are going to Chicago or when you need to look for a place, that'll come up. And you'll also notice the material design around the app itself. Okay, continuing on, I'm going to go ahead and do a search. So it'll bring up recent, uh, recent history, you can search for gas stations, nearby, uh, all that good stuff. So I'm going to search for the restaurant called Goosefoot. Um, I really want to you to pay attention to this because this is an awesome feature. So um, I can press drive, it'll give me directions from my location. Um, it lets me know how long it is from my location, so I'm two and a half hours away from there. Watch when I swipe up. It gives you an image along with more information. So it's another nice, um, I guess, animation to this update along with the just material design look to it. So when you swipe up, it's gonna show you this. Uh, you'll see you can call, save, website, uh, gives you stars. Um, it also gives you times on when it's open. But one of the key things, if you've heard of Open Table before, um, it's actually a website where you can make reservations at restaurants. You can do that straight from here. So let's say, hey, I want to go there at 7 p.m. today, party size of two people done. Um, it says due to the date and party size and credit card required, all that stuff, you need to go to opentable.com. But for another restaurant, you might be able to do it just straight from this application. So it says no tables are available. Um, all that good stuff. Obviously it's a popular restaurant. Alright, but continuing on, like I said, that great uh, animation right there. You can pull up again to just get rid of that picture if you don't want to see it. Um, I also want to point out something different about tablet, uh, I guess the design on tablets as opposed to on cell phones. Alright, so here is my Nexus 9 tablet, obviously running the updated app. So I'm going to do the same thing. Go to that same restaurant. Um, and one of the main differences is when you're in landscape mode. It does not do this on the phone. So you'll see right here, it'll give you this map right here, but it'll have the information right to the left of it. You don't need to swipe up and clear the map itself. It's a really cool feature. Um, I would think on bigger screen phones like the Nexus 6, for example, this would be an awesome thing to have, but I don't, hopefully they have it. I doubt they will, though. This seems like a tablet-only thing for the Google Maps application, but check it out. Just really cool that they uh, actually included this uh, where you can navigate, you can see what's in the area without blocking the map, and you can still look at all this information on the left side. Now, and finally, of course, you still have those little... Uh, Things you can change on the left, you'll see traffic's open right now. You can look at the public transit of your current location. It's a big thing in Chicago, of course, so highlights certain public uh, location. Bicycle, so wherever you want to, uh, I guess, bike at. And satellite, which will give you some satellite images of places, all that good stuff using uh, Google's map technology. All right, and the final thing I did want to show you guys is navigation, of course. So when you're driving somewhere, uh, the new updated look. So I have Willis Tower loaded up and you'll see a drive icon right here. Tap on it. 
Um, it's going to give you a bunch of lists of, uh, you're going to start at your location of different routes. I'm not going to take the 4 hour and 23 minute route, I'm going to take the 2, two hour and 14 minute route. Uh, that's pretty much a no brainer. It's going to show you the different, uh, the various routes and then you can hit this to navigate. Um, you can save power dim screens between turns. Uh, sure, why not? And there we go. So it's going to show my location of course. And then it's going to obviously have a different icon right here, a different navigation icon. Um, just an overall different look. You can do, uh, I guess, voice commands there with that button. Uh, nothing too crazy different, I guess, from this screen other than that little icon. So there you have it. That would be the updated uh, Google Maps icon. So let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Happy to hear from you guys. Uh, be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. All links will be in the description of the video below. Make sure to grab that download link as well. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.